you know yeah, yeah. so i don't care about him no yeah, more yeah i look now up to the other guy you know christoph lewaski yeah, yeah he's been a world champion i want to fight this guy yeah. i like him he's tough he knocks guys yeah, out yeah, yeah. he i fantasize about yeah so i want to fight him um i want to get stronger what makes me f- uh, scared in life is one thing that i don't want to get old or die without pulling the majority of guy out of the street yeah i'm scared of this yeah so it kills it's like the fire in me when i think of this guy you see me here when you park your car you meet me here i'm training already because mm. i think about them i want to do something for them yeah i want to travel that i didn't really like corona but i also think corona is i see the positive side of it everything happened for a reason yeah i was about to travel i was going to peru mexico brazil you know the cover is just always to visit but i meet guys there yeah yeah I got really shocked. I paid everything. I had the visa. I all the, the plane, the, the flight was booked, but Corona lockdown came and messed it up. But I would still say glory be to God for if I went there, I would have been locked down Locked-down there for over a year, yeah. you know? So it was a good thing that I sacrificed that little money to stay here. And I'm still doing good. Yeah. And um, so boxing is like a vehicle. It's a, I want to use the platform of boxing to send my message yeah now i could say i've made it when you have this one yeah, of course yeah, bad, yeah yeah you can start but i don't want to do this kind yeah. of thing like oh yeah no yeah there's one thing guys are hungry there i want to meet them and sit look it's one thing to send a piece of bread in the united nations and say we're helping africa or we're helping the poor of india mm. there's another thing to go and have a have a night with them mm. you feel them Go have a couple of days with them. You feel them. Let me tell you the little story. I went to France. I went from Lyon to Paris by metro. Then I get out of the metro of Paris and I started wandering. Mm. I went to the, the Champs-Élysées. I went to the Eiffel Tower and all of this stuff. And uh, 6 p.m. is coming. I'm just visiting my dream, brother. When they talk about Paris home, oh, God. You, you 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 dream yeah paris have been painting like the city of i don't know yeah what, yeah, so yeah for us african it's like of to course. be there yeah. was like i've made it yeah, like yeah, yeah. whoa but i was not really impressed but the memory of i was a child who they talking about paris made me like i was in some heaven like a movie yeah not the heaven you see but in yeah. your head it's like I'm in this place in yeah. this world so 6 p.m come the night is coming night is falling there's no place to go I went, I wanted to book one hotel there. The hotel guy told me to wait. Mm. I'm tired. I had my food. I wanted to eat. He told me to wait. I say, look, I'm not going to sit here forever. And the way he was talking to me he was talking down. I saw maybe, I don't want to say he was racist, but he was, he had a tough day. Maybe, yeah. you know yeah, what yeah, I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I felt that he didn't really like the guys talking to him. Right. So I was like, okay, I help you take my nasty self away. Then I go. I sat right there in, um, you know, Notre Dame yeah. is there. And yeah. Right there, there's like a canal. There's water, boats go out there and they have weed smokers guy on the shore. Right, like, right. They stand there, they talk. Then I had to bring this ghetto instinct out because I decided that, okay, fine. You don't want me to sleep there. Go away with your hotel. I'm going to sleep in the street again. I've mm-hmm. been there. Mm-hmm. And this guy has gone. They have gone. They knife, they smoke weed. They tough guy. Yeah, in yeah, France, yeah. You know, this brothers from algeria yeah. tunisia and um uh, senegal yeah, yeah. my country cameroon nigeria yeah. they there brother tough guys now i had my locks back then yeah then i sit there i lost the appetite of the food because i was scared in my stomach you know the adrenaline yeah of course yeah. when i see the guy get nervous yeah so i lost the appetite i put my food there this guy was talking and i tried to make a plan how Am I going to impose myself? You know, in the street, you need course, to make yeah. respect. Yeah. You don't play the nice no, guy no, in no, the street. No, 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 they eat you raw. Yeah. So I needed to take the risk. Yeah. Now, another thing is that I always like to say, dead for me is nothing. I'm not really scared of dying. Yeah. As long as I, it's a natural death. Yeah. But if it is a death of, you know, stuff like, I wouldn't like it. But if I die naturally, I don't care. Yeah. So, be, But that day, I was ready to die.
So this guy were there smoking weed. I don't smoke weed. It was making me uncomfortable. I needed to send them away. Yeah. And I stand, stay there. I move closer to them and I sit down on the stairs right there. And I say, in French, I was speaking in French. And I say, you motherfucker, shut up before I show you the rough side of my tongue. At the same time, my, my heart is pumping. My heart is pumping 100%, but I look at them just like you dominate yourself. I say, you motherfucker, shut up. I've got enough from you. Get away. You know, I, it's like something possessed me. It's not me anymore mm -hmm. right there. No, it's not me. There's a spirit right there controlling me. And I can feel like I'm breathing. I'm choking. And I talk. I get nervous. They turn and look at me. And I'm like, okay, it's time now. They're going to eat me. But I keep talking. I stand up. I look down. I say, I told you to go away. And they start whispering like, oh, this dude come in our place and he's trying to play the tough dude. I say, I'm giving you five seconds. I'm counting. Go away from my place. Now it's my place. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's not your place anymore. That's all about respect. My heart is pumping. I'm breathing. I say, go away. It's already three. And they have the, 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 the head of the gang is there. The head of the gang knows something is wrong. Mm. You need you need balls, iron yeah, yeah. balls to, to have this kind of, of reaction. The head of gun, the other guy wanted to come and bully me or maybe stab me or I saw one guy doing this. I guess that was a gun. The boss said, he called out. And I was a little bit happy. Mm. But still, the spirit is me, brother. I don't back up. I kept talking. I said, it's been two. You're wasting time. The head of gang is staring at me. He looked at me. And I was like, in my head, what happened there when it goes to zero? <laughs> They're going to kill me here? I said, it's one. The head of gang go, move. They move. I say, thank God. <laughs> that was the thing. You know, you, you play the gamble in the street. That would have that that's a huge gamble, though. Yeah, the, I know. Huge. One thing was is life or death. Yeah. But look, and the, the other thing is what? I don't do it because I'm trying to dominate no, no, them. Yeah, yeah. I tried to find a place peaceful to sleep, but it didn't really work. Mm. Now, this is the second option. You make the most advantage of it. It's like not do you me. ever look back on that and go, that could have gone the other way? Yeah, I know. Like from, like, I'll give you the scenario. If you waited 25 more minutes for this wait at the hotel uh, concierge to serve you, then you're in a hotel. Or now you're on the street and you get killed. No, no. I, I, I've been working the whole day. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm dead tired. I told the guy humbly, please, I'm tired. Help me. Yeah. No, I, the way he's talking to me is like yeah. he doesn't want to deal with me. Yeah. I say, okay, at least I try. Yeah. I'm going to use my real self Talk to, to get it story. off. Then I go right there. I'm, I remember my heart was pumping, but the more I talk, I get confident. Yeah, right, right. The more I talk, I get confident. My breathing calm down. Adrenaline is coming down. I say, you have two seconds. The, the king looked at me like this. I think he got scared. Yeah. He felt that something was wrong with me because you, a normal person. I mean, a normal, do that. yeah. Some, yeah. Someone's got to be a bit exactly <laughs> to come up. He gave the signal to the guy, move. Yeah. I, as they move, I say, don't look back. Don't come back. And I stepped there. So I slept there. I slept there. It was like minus, uh, I think that time it was October. Wow. So it, was it was freezing. I was, yeah. Yeah. but I had already bought my ticket. I have bought the land. Right, right, so right. they will go there and talk to the other guy. This yeah. is the street. Yeah. You go from mouth to ear. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They say, oh, bro, there's a dog over there. Don't you go there, yeah. brother. I slept there peaceful. No one bothered me. Early morning, I moved. I went to the metro. And that was it. That was the thing. So like to tell you, anything scares me? Not really. But my dream, my yeah. dream is to pull the guy. This is my ultimate dream. Yeah. Now to get world champion is to help me get the voice like out you said, there. Vehicle, you yeah. know, yeah. If I stay like this, stop training. No one will really listen mm. to me. But having this, when I meet you, now I'm lucky to have your postcard. Mm. You wouldn't go to anybody in the in the gym no. and say you want a postcard. Yeah, you exactly. know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, so no, absolutely. Help me for my message yeah. that I have. So for real, I still have to work hard to do it. Now, imagine this history now that I'm telling you mm. in France with a tough guy. I tell this to a bunch of guys 
little guy kid, mm-hmm. they're gonna look at me like this. Whoa, like a, like a, a, you did a superhero. That? I, yeah. say, I did it. You yeah. can do it. Yeah, yeah. That's what I want to do. That's um. So let to I mean to round it off. You, men do not fear. You do not fear men. You you fear dying without having a cause, right? Exactly. Yeah. Okay. That's 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 crazy. That's that's um that's very inspira- inspirational, bro. Um, all right. So that's why are you doing this? This is last question, bro, because we've uh, we've you've hit it on the head. Where would you see yourself within the next two to five years? Where do you want to see yourself? Because I know you're going to achieve it. So where do you want to see yourself? Uh, where do I want to see myself? Now I'm trying to get some sponsorship. Yeah. Uh, I would really like it. Anybody who wants to support me, you know, I want to go to America. My boxing style, I'm physically very strong. Yeah. I can really break someone's job. Yeah. But technically, I'm not too good. I'm a fearless guy. You mm. know, like you can hit me all day long and still see yeah, me. Yeah, yeah. I want to work on my technique Technical, a little, my yeah. skill a little bit, because at some point you realize it's not about strength. Mm. It's also about skills. Absolutely, sometimes. yeah. And especially now, this stuff get me in the top in the world. I really need to kind of start working work on, on the it, yeah. skills. Yeah. So I'm trying. I would like to go to America, really get some guy to punish my body, sparring. Mm. They hit me really hard, make me think, make me, you know. I like challenges and I want to go there uh, two or three months. And from there, I'm going to start getting top guys. I want to, I can call them out now, but I want to do it at the right time. Right time. You get me? Yeah. I'm not risky. I can fight anyone, but you know, you still need to sharpen the gun. This yeah. guy has been there. I don't really have amateur background. Yeah. This, they have great amateur, but I'm still learning. Yeah. And my pro, I don't even have 15 fight, you know. Yeah, yeah. So that I'm telling you, I'm just lucky. Yeah. Things are going well. I'm grateful to God for all of this. In a couple of two years, if I have the proper appropriate training, um, I want to see myself like a world champion. Yeah. World champion is, is I'm 32 years old. You know, I still have maybe two or three years before I expire in the term of my prime, mm. you know. Yeah. When I get in the 37, you know, I'm yeah. just kind of, you know, surviving. Yeah. I can see do, but it's not the same guy. Yeah. So in a couple of two years, I want to maximize and get my message out there. Uh, like I told you to the guy in the slum, in the ghetto, the orphans. Yeah. You know, this is, these are my guys, brother. I don't really, these are my people because that's where I came from. Mm. It's me. Yeah. I'm talking to the brothers and to the friend. I feel them. I know them. Yeah. There's no life there. They survive. And, you know, a couple of times when people give us some pieces of bread, we are thankful, but they share on social media. Mm. This is turning us down. Yeah. They do it for the glory. Of course, yeah. Pack your Range Rover, brother. Pack your, your Lambo. Go have a, a night with us in the street. Can you do that? Not many can. We thank you for what you do for us, but can you really have a night in the slum right there? It's tough. I want to go there, have night with this guy and say, hey, I came out of there. I've been around the world, but I can see, come back to the play. This is what I want yeah. to do. It's not a, giving is good. I'm, I'm thankful, man. But we need your presence. You know, give us some time. Come and visit us. Talk to us and understand our story. Then you can understand the real thing. This is what I'm striving to yeah. do. Yeah. Bro, and hopefully, you know, with, with you telling this to us today, a lot more people will see this. And like, like you said, like there's so many different people from different backgrounds and a lot of people struggle in life in general. Um, and like you said, giving is great, but also trying to put yourself in somebody's shoes is an, a, a totally different thing, you know what I mean? And, and I guess a lot of people, it's, it's humbling. Do you know what I mean? It's humbling, not for someone's misfortune, but to for for someone in your uh, your your level my level if we really want to help we also need to figure out what that person has been through to to get them out of that you, slump you know want me to tell you one thing i don't want you to say a misfortune mm. no i feel lucky and blessed to come out of the ghetto yeah, in yeah. the street bro yeah when i look at the guys out there Thank God I've been blessed to train top VIP guy. I trained one minister of this country. Yeah. Um, it went well, but again, I don't bow. Yeah. 
yeah at some point i left him with my salary i say i don't take it this is my mentality yeah and i hope he will remember me not in the sense of uh, a stubborn guy no, no, no. but the guy but who holds on to, to his word yeah. and this is the thing you know i don't regret one word for losing my parents yeah i don't regret one word for sleeping in the car for years i don't regret one for being in the street i think it was a blessing yeah. i feel special you know i think somebody's looking at me and i say wow this is just the thing it's striking yeah. look at the thing you have something in your back and this is the blessing this is tough we don't strive for money i don't strive for money yeah. if money comes i them i take it humbly it doesn't come i'm good i'm a happy guy when you look at me yeah i'm not a side guy i'm a happy dude i do good man physically you look at a good guy yeah well, I definitely, I definitely think, bro, and you know, as I said, a lot of people know you. We all know you, and I think, you know, a new, a new, lot of people get to know you. You're, you're going to do special things. You are doing special things now, but I think, like, this is just the start for you, bro. There's obviously the boxing is a vessel for you to then carry your message, like you said, and and you know, it's all about helping people and um and and getting that word out there. So. I really believe you're going to do some special things in the next couple of years. And, and obviously, you know, being world champion is definitely one of them. So, bro, I appreciate you coming on today, man. Honestly, you, that Thank was, you uh, for inviting me. That was, yeah, that was a story. And hopefully, guys, like you said, you know, he's looking for sponsors. The, the, the combat world, boxing world, it's a lonely place um, in terms of it's standalone and our fighters need support. So if you've got a company out there, um, you've heard the story you know he's the real deal he's our he's our real version of bernard hopkins if you know who bernard hopkins is it's almost like listening to a bernard hopkins life story um in very very retrospect similar ways so if you've got a company out there and you want to sponsor a, a real professional fighter um with real professional dreams and it's not just chasing glory you know this guy's got a message um to send not only here but worldwide contact me um and we'll put you in touch with him and uh yeah i mean support 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 and that's that's all we can do as uh humans you know what i mean support each other and uh just try to get each other to a, a new level so anyway bro thank you for coming on and thanks guys the one tribe podcast and i uh, hope you've enjoyed this one it's been a special one peace out oh, man. Good job, brother.